how to make your videos pop with flip effects in DaVinci Resolve. This technique is perfect for adding a unique and dynamic touch to your videos. So, grab your footage, and let's dive in, drag your footage into the timeline. Right now, we don't need the audio, so unlink and delete it. Place your playhead at the beginning, hold Option Mac or Alt Windows, and drag to duplicate the clip. For the upper clip, go to Clip Greater than Freeze Frame. Move it aside this will be your workspace. You need to decide how long you want this effect to last. If you prefer a quick effect, shorten the duration, adjust as needed. Right click and select new fusion clip, place your playhead over that clip and enter the fusion tab. Select media in one and add a polygon node. It will initially appear blank. In the inspector, enable invert to see your selection. Depending on your clip, decide which elements you want to fold into each other. For example, mask around the first area a stair. I'm just doing rough and quick for tutorial purpose but I would recommend really paying attention to the details and making it nice and smooth. Close the mask by connecting the starting and ending points. Take your time to ensure smooth and precise masking. Now you have your first layer that's going to come up into the folding animation. Next select previous nodes and copy and paste Command C Command V. It will automatically connect in between here but instead of having this connect to the background, you have to connect it to the foreground. New polygon node selected. Select all the points that you created on the outside of the frame and then drag it up and determine what your next layer is going to be. Just keep in mind not to select any of the masking points you created on the previous layer. Doing so will mess up the masking and make it look incorrect. Whatever you do, avoid selecting points in this stair area. Mask out what you want your second layer to be. If you need to create new masking points, you can select a new one and continue. In my case, I'm just going to mask the temple, but make sure to create a very detailed mask for your final composite. Once you've done that, you'll have your second layer. You now have the first layer here and the second layer there. Combined, these two layers create the base. You can continue copying and pasting nodes and connecting them down the line. Make sure this is connected to the foreground, and that is connected to the background. You can continuously create layers quickly just select the next polygon node and work your way up. Avoid selecting anything beneath the layer that will transition into the next layers. I'll quickly select all those nodes and pull them up. Repeat this process until all layers are defined. Now, we have a basic three-layer composite. With the first median selected, hold down shift and press the spacebar, type in DV, and click at. With the DV node selected, go to the inspector and adjust the X rotation. However, one issue is that the pivot point is currently at the center of the frame, which causes improper flipping. To achieve the correct folding effect, Go to the top of the inspector and adjust the pivot Y you'll see a small green X appear drag it to the bottom of the frame. Set it to around 0 on the Y axis. Next, to create the flipping effect, we need to keyframe the X rotation. Move to the beginning of your clip, select the keyframe diamond, and set the value to minus 90. Then, go forward about 10 frames, click the adjust handle, and set it back to 0. Now we have our first layer animation. Next, we need to repeat the process for the remaining layers. Select the median one here, hold down shift and press the spacebar, type in DVE, and select it. The node will automatically drop into place. Once again, set your pivot to zero, then go to the inspector, select the keyframe for X rotation, and set it to minus 90. Move forward about eight frames, then set the value back to zero. Now we have this so far. Next, repeat the same steps for the upper layer. Remember to always move the pivot Y axis down to zero. It acts as an anchor point for the layer's flipping effect. To make it smooth and less robotic, like a linear ramp, go to the spline editor and select the DV rotation. Select the DV1 node for the first layer, press S, and drag it out to create a smoother ramp effect. Adjust it as needed to suit your preference, and repeat the process for all DV rotations. To make it more believable, 
add a camera shake effect. Hold shift and press the spacebar. Type in camera shake and select it. By default, the values are too aggressive and don't look good. Adjust the settings by reducing the X deviation to your liking. Lower the overall strength and speed as well. Play it back to see how it looks. Once you have your camera shake settings adjusted the way you want them, make sure to go to the edges setting and select duplicate. This will fill in the blanks while the camera shake is happening. Finally, go into your DV nodes, select the third tab in the inspector, and enable motion blur. Turn it all the way up, and make sure to do this for each DV node. If you want a color change transition while flipping up, you can add a color corrector node between your median and DV node. Add keyframes for hue, saturation, and brightness on the specific layer as needed. Since I'm not adding a color effect, I didn't cover it here. We are now in the process of creating another clip, where we aim to meet same folding effect. Repeat the whole process as before for another footage. Freeze the frame, go to the Fusion tab, and add a polygon node to create a mask as we did earlier. For the final touch, add the background footage of your choice before the effect. Drag your footage into the timeline. I'll add sound effects later, so I don't need this audio. You can add text or any other elements you want, and make adjustments for the speed ramp. Do some color correction for all the footage, tweak lift, gamma, shadows, highlights, color boost, and you're done. And that's it. You've successfully created a dynamic folding animation with multiple layers, added some smooth camera shake, and enhanced your footage with color corrections and effects. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, 